Hey y'all, it's Tony Paradis. I'm a registered dietitian and personal trainer. I'm the owner of Food and Fitness in Flower Mound, Texas. Please check out my website at foodandfitnessonline.com and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is going to be about omega-3s. And omega-3s are essential fatty acids that a lot of people have to supplement with. So today I'll be covering supplementation of them and just what do they do in your body. Omega-3s are used in the body as anti-inflammatories. They have anti-inflammatory properties, which has a cascade of effects uh, showing benefit in reduction of cardiovascular disease. There's been research to show that it has benefit in preventing certain types of dementia. And also, it ha may have some benefits in preventing inflammation uh, from exercise and working out, which is why athletes, if not everybody, uh, should be taking them. Omega-3 fatty acids are found naturally high in fatty fishes like salmon would be a really good example. You can also find it in flax oil or flax seed. Now let's talk a little bit about the omega-3 fatty acids and different sources of them. Uh, number one is going to be fish oil versus flax. So let's talk a little bit about that. When it comes to supplementing omega-3s, you want to get something that's going to be highly absorbed. A animal uh, source of your omega-3s is going to be the most readily absorbed form of the omega-3. So in that case, if you're not a vegetarian and if you have no preference otherwise or any other reason, I would really recommend taking a fish oil supplement for your omega-3. Flax, you can do it with flax oil, but the conversion rate of the EPA and DHA, which is the active um, metabolite of the omega-3s, is going to have a much lower conversion ratio. It's, I believe it's seven times more ineffective at being converted into the EPA DHA from the flax oil. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you take the fish oil, you don't have to take as much. Okay? All right. Now, I talked a little bit about EPA and DHA. I'm not going to try to pronounce these right now, but this is <laughs> this it's a long name for the uh, metabolites of the the acid form that's beneficial from omega-3 fatty acids. And you want to get about 2 to 3 grams of that from your omega-3 source. So if you look at your supplements, it may say on the back, you know, per serving has X amount of grams or milligrams of EPA, DHA, and you want that to total up throughout the day to be about 2 to 3 grams for an optimal dose. Now, when it comes to supplementing, you have two different options if you want to do the fish oil. You can either take tabs or you can take the straight oil. So let me talk a little bit about the benefits and maybe drawbacks of each. All right, number one is you have your omega-3 tabs, your fish oil tabs, and this is what most people uh, generally think of. Um, let's see, if I hold these out here, you can see that they're uh, pretty big pills and they're clear. Uh, there's just fish oil in there. So you can uh, take those. Most people to get the amount of EPA DHA that they need, need about four to six tabs of the fish oil per day. So you can split that up. You can do uh, two tabs with each meal. You can do three tabs, however you want to do it. Now sometimes the drawback of supplementing with the fish oil tabs is besides the fact that you have to take so many tabs, um, some people don't like swallowing pills or taking six tabs per day. So if that's you, um, you know it may be a drawback for you. But <laughs> with me, the biggest drawback has been, um, I have no other way to say this, but fish burps. And fish burps are when you eat an omega-3 supplement and maybe an hour later you start burping because it kind of sets funny in your stomach and it starts tasting like fish. So if you're going out on a date or... Uh, you're going to be in close quarters talking to somebody. You may not want to be burping up fish. But don't let that scare you from trying it out, okay? 
try an omega-3 supplement. If you want to do the pills, try the pills. And you may not get fish burps. A lot of my clients don't. I know that I do. I've heard that you can do different things like put these in the refrigerator or put them in the freezer, that that can help. Um, it hasn't worked for me. I guess I'm just sensitive to them. It has helped some of my clients by putting them in the freezer. So that's something that you can take into consideration to get your omega-3 supplements. Now, let's talk about what I do. And a lot of people, I guess, aren't really receptive to the idea of doing straight oil. But let me tell you this. It does not taste anything like fish. I don't, it's, it's not, this is a lemon flavor. This is Barleen's fish oil. Um, it is the Omega Swirl. And I was actually recommended this by another one of my uh, dietitian colleagues. And I wasn't really a believer at first. And, you know, probably like you're thinking right now is I don't want to take a tablespoon of fish oil. Uh, that sounds even worse than taking the taps. But this tastes just like a lemon drop or a lemon head, any kind of uh, lemon kind of candy. It, it actually really tastes good. So I have no problem taking this. I have no problem with any kind of GI discomfort or fish burps with this. Uh, I have a very good compliant rate with taking this. And so if the pills uh, haven't worked for you in the past, then I would really recommend checking out uh, Barley's Fish Oil. They have an Omega Swirl. They have a berry flavor. I think they have an orange flavor. So you can find what works best for you. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, I can only vouch for the lemon one because that's the only one that I've tried. But I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. So we talked about omega-3s and some of the benefits of those. They have cardiovascular benefits, they have anti-inflammatory benefits, uh, even may have some uh, mental benefits in preventing certain types of dementia. And this has been uh, researched. It's, it's a pretty hot topic. Um, I don't know if hot topic is the right word, but it's a, it's a golden child of supplements in the nutrition industry. A lot of supplements out there are BS. Fish oil is not one of them. So fish oil does have benefits, and if you don't eat fatty fish often, and I'm talking three or more times per week, then it is something that you do need to supplement with, and it is going to be beneficial for you in your long-term health. Uh, we talked about the active uh, ingredient, the EPA, DHA, in fish oil, and you want to get about two to three grams per day from that. So you can simply look at the back and see how many grams of that. That's usually going to come out to be about four to six tabs of fish oil per day or one to two tablespoons of the oil. But if that seems like a lot to you, let me say this. If you're taking none now and you can meet in the middle and compromise somewhere and take two tabs per day or one tablespoon per day, it's important to at least be taking some in. So this really is an important supplement. And uh, finally, the two different ways you can take it, which is the oil or you guys can do the taps. Uh, let me also say this is I don't sell supplements. Uh, just kind of as an aside, uh, as a dietitian, I really believe that, it's, that it is unethical for me to directly sell supplements to people that I am advising and to my clients. It's a conflict of interest. Uh, I am here to give objective nutrition advice and I don't believe that I can do that if I'm also profiting off of the advice that I'm giving um, from upselling products. So uh, these are two products that I like and I recommend them. There's a lot of other great products out there so I would recommend uh, keeping an open mind and trying different things. You could ask your friends but for me it's really the Barleen's fish oil, uh, the, the liquid supplement and this is something that I like. The fish pills have never worked for me but they do work for a lot of my clients. So thanks for checking me out. My name is Tony Paradis. I'm a registered dietitian and personal trainer in Flower Mound, Texas. Check out my website at foodandfitnessonline.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll check you next time.